Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to fix iPhone says not enough storage for update, but there is. It's frustrating your iPhone says there is not enough storage to install and update. But when you check your storage, there seems to be plenty of space available. If you have run into this confusing error, you are not alone. So in this video, I'll tell you how can you fix this problem. But first, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button. So let's start the video without wasting any time. So the first step is restart your iPhone. Restarting your iPhone can refresh storage data, clear temporary files and may fix misreported space. For this, you just need to press and quickly release the volume up button and do the same with volume down button and press the power button. Next, a slider shows up. So slide to power off and after some time, press the power button again until you see the Apple logo on your home screen and you are done. And the next step is free up extra space. iOS needs temporary space for installing update. For this, go to settings. Next, scroll down and go to general option. Next, scroll down and choose iPhone storage. You can offload unused apps. For this, go to any app you want to offload. Tap on it and then choose offload and then tap on offload again to confirm or you can delete your media, remove large videos or photos and also you can clear Safari cache. For this, go to settings. Next, scroll down and go to apps. Next, scroll down and go to Safari. Tap on it. Next, scroll down. Here you will see the option of clear history and website data. Tap on it. Next, choose the time frame and tap on clear history and you are done. Next, I am going to tell you delete existing iOS update file. Previously failed update might have left a partial file taking up space. For this, go to settings. Next, scroll down and go to general option. Next, choose iPhone storage. Scroll down and look for iOS update or iOS version number. If you have any previously failed update, it will show in the app. Just tap it and then tap delete update and next go back to settings. And then choose software update and download the update again and you are done. Next, I am going to tell you reset all settings. If storage data or update paths are glitched, resetting settings can help. For this, go to settings. Next, scroll down and choose general option. Next, scroll down to the bottom and choose transfer or reset iPhone. Next, choose reset and choose reset all settings. It will ask you to enter your passcode. So, enter your passcode and follow the on-screen instructions to reset all settings on your iPhone. And you are done. I hope this video will help you to fix your issue of iPhone says not enough storage for updates but there is and also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.